been in the room. How you doing? Hey, what is going on to my mini tights? Oh my guys, you can ask that through. Y'all already know it's your boy Jordan the Don Adorno. And if you did not know, today we will be doing a very long and very highly anticipated gameplay. Finally, back into the gaming with none other than the brand new DLC pack that came for Gigabash, introducing Ultraman. So obviously, this specific DLC came out a little over a week ago. It came out last weekend. Um, not the weekend that just passed, but the weekend before that. It came out there on Saturday. And this is a very interesting DLC because from the overall feedback that I've been getting from people that do have the brand new DLC for Gigabash, the choice of characters for the specific Ultraman DLC pack is very off. Now, I will say the choice of characters for this DLC was definitely a curveball for most Ultraman fans such as myself and probably to most of the viewers watching this. I was hoping for Red King, Gamora. Now, nonetheless, I am excited to actually have a game where I could battle both Ultraman and Godzilla at the same time. So I do give kudos to Gigabash for actually coming in clutch with this DLC. And it only leads me to speculate if there will be dropping a third DLC pack. And obviously with the most recent success of the brand new Gamera Rebirth anime series that is out on Netflix, it only leads fans to speculate and assume that Gamera will be part of the third DLC pack if Gigabash does go that route and make it another DLC pack. But with all that being said you guys, because I feel like I've been rambling on too much in this intro, I just want to jump right into the gameplay! Now also really quick before the actual gameplay, I just want to show you guys this really dope Ultraman Heisei t-shirt made by none other than one of my very very good friends John Bellotti Jr. aka Robo7. That is right if you guys are interested in purchasing a shirt like this mind you this is not the only shirt you could purchase from him of Ultraman. They also have the original Ultraman with a bunch of cool classic kaijus within the t-shirt as well as Ultra 7. Mind you there are also a bunch of neat prints that he has made in the past and is still making some today so link will be in the description right down below as to where you guys can purchase John's magnificent art thank you john once again bro and i hope to see you soon bud and here we are you guys gigabash you guys already know i mean if anything this game is a little bit special to me being that it's the first video that i uploaded to announce the realist goji fans come back to youtube um and what makes it even better is that obviously i showcased my gameplay to this game because the godzilla dlc was out and I was super stoked about it, and I'm even more stoked to finally see Ultraman share the likes of Godzilla and other, you know, kaijus within both franchises in this game. So, we are going to do just a typical 1v1, um, and just, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Enough chit-chatting, let's just go right into it. Choosing Ultraman and to do difficult level three. Hmm. Let's do my original main for Gigabash. Let's do Rawa. Now let me switch up the skin tone for this guy. Or at least let me. Uh, I'll stick with this one. This gives me more of like a show of vibe. Also, one thing I also did not like about this specific DLC pack for Ultraman is that the choice of colors is, or the choice of skin colors is, it's not even skin color, it's just literally background lighting. I, I don't like that, man. Like, there were, so, there were so many things that they could have done to really, I mean, meet the game's expectations, especially being that there are unlockable skins for this game. One thing I also wish they did for the DLC, I know they didn't do it with Godzilla, it was add more stages. Granted, the varieties that we have, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I would also like to see the option of changing your camera angles. Uh, not that I have anything personally against the, the camera angles for this game, it's pretty unique. But, you know, I think most of us would rather prefer the just that straight shot of seeing both of the kaijus collide from side to side. Um, as we've seen in previous games. You know what? Let's do Kimura District. 
Also, for this specific gameplay, I'm going to be playing all of the Ultraman characters available for the new Ultraman DLC. Just so you guys get a little hint of what they're like in the game. Now, I will say, preferably, I don't like playing with Ultraman. I think he's he's a little bit difficult to play with. Uh, granted, if you keep on playing with him, he gets, you know easier as you continue to practice with him but i i just i don't know man i think like between uh chimera and alien Bolton, i think even ultraman tiga i think they're a lot better than ultraman but nonetheless obviously i'm doing good here because again i've been practicing with uh ultraman for quite some time but nonetheless again like i said i oh man how did i miss I prefer, again, Alien Bolton, Tiga, and uh, Kamara, or again, however you pronounce your name, is it Kamara, Kamara, please, if I'm mispronouncing you guys, let me know, please, and thank you, that'd be very much appreciated, imagine me being an Ultraman Tiga, not knowing one of the most infamous villains of that entire series, I don't even know how to pronounce your name, I will say it's been a long time since I watched Ultraman Tiga, but... And I'm not going to be able to strand in these buildings. Yeah, it's not like Godzilla or any of the other monsters where they shoot their beam attack and they're able to destroy the buildings. And I get it, you know, Ultraman's a superhero, but it, it still shouldn't take away the fact that it should be able to knock down some buildings when shooting its space beam or shooting his space Alright, let me see. Let me see if I'm able to unlock his special so I can show you guys. Oh, he has a fire truck, or nope, he has a gas tank. Ah, oh, that's all right. Oh, oh, do I, oh, no, I still have two of my lives left. Oh my god, the, there we go, there we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, I think I just missed. No. I think I just missed you guys. Ah, you see? Oh, wow, that would have been a perfect way to end this round, too. Oh, of course. Nope, I'm not letting you take the... Nope. Sh screw it, we'll just shoot it with the regular space engine. There we go. Though I missed the special, but nonetheless, it's... It is what it is. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so now you guys got a little taste of what Ultraman looks like and how he fights in the game. So, now on to Alien Bolton. Alright, so here we go with Alien Bolton. And instead of Rawa, we are going to go up against... Mm. We'll go up against Gigan. Oh, no, it's not even Gigan. I'm sorry, I didn't even see. Oh, uh, we're gonna go up against Gigan, alright? Not Mega Godzilla, we're gonna go up against Gigan. Ah! We'll stick with Mega Godzilla. Alright, now for this one, we'll go. We'll go here, all right? The GGN Tower. Now, I will say it has been, for me, it's been a while um, since playing this game. It's, I've only been playing this within these past couple of days um, since the launch of the Ultraman DLC. So I'm not too familiar with certain combos uh, for the other characters, more so in particular in this specific bout. Uh, Mechagodzilla, so, okay, yep. This is definitely gonna be an interesting one. Like I said, because I do not remember uh, Mecha Godzilla's combos, but nonetheless, it's definitely going to be a fun one. I'll say that. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Oh, oh. That oh wow. No. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Mm, there we go. Get out of here. Oh wow, he dodged that. Oh! Oh, this. Oh, that's the first time I've ever grabbed anybody with Alien Bolton. I love his laugh. There we go. Get out of here, boy. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, he got me. That was good. That was good, John Megazel. I forgot. I noticed every time, oh, well, well mine's just past the favor, so maybe they didn't do it for that specific reason. Let's see. 
Oh no, wow. They did the same thing over here. Maybe because I'm giant. Let me double check something. Oh, so maybe I was maybe I was tripping the entire time. I thought when you activated that specific mood where you saw like, you know, the um duplicate of Alien Balton that your character was swapped from where oh I didn't even notice I was beating him. I thought your character swapped um, from where the duplicate was um, appearing in when you use that move, but I guess I was wrong. I guess I was tripping the entire time. All right, so now that we got Alien Balton out of the way, let's use uh, Camara or Kamara. Ha Again, however you guys pronounce it. Like I said earlier, if I'm mispronouncing your name, please leave it in the comments down below. So we're gonna use Camaro. You already know who we gotta save for last. It's my boy Tiga. So who are we going to be going up against uh, tonight, Camaro? Because that is what I'm going to be calling you. Oh, you know what? Let's do Giga Man. It's rising form. And for this specific one, we'll do. Uh... I guess no 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 let's do oh my god you know what let's just do random let's see what we got let's see what we got okay okay dragon's crossing i'm not gonna lie once i purchased this dlc once i picked up camara or kamara it's oh my god i'm a little sleep trying to figure out how to pronounce her name but once I was able to grab onto her and just, you know, just try to get the gifs of how she played. I was killing it with her. Still to this very day, I still think that, you know, between Alien Balton and her, she's definitely my go-to pick before Alien Balton. A few moments later. This couldn't have appeared any time sooner. Let me see. Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Oh, come on! That's... I lost, you guys. I lost! I thought I had the aura. No freaking way. So much for hyping her up. I'm not gonna let that slide. I'm a, I'm a user again. I'm just gonna choose another character. Um... For this one, we'll use a Thunder Tross. Uh, let me see. I like that, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do random again. Hopefully, he's at a. Okay. Ah, maybe it was the scenery. Maybe it was the scenery was throwing me off. I don't know. I do not know. We're definitely gonna. Listen, we're definitely gonna rock this one out until I'm able to show you guys her finisher because, oh my god. It is bad ass. All right, we're just jumping straight into. Oh, we're on top of the buildings. Okay, whatever. Of course, I'm not the. Oh, wait, wait. Come on. Wow. Okay, whatever. Come on. And Thunder Trust is no joke neither. He's he was definitely one of my mains too when I was um when the game first originally came out. Wow, okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Wow. Okay, like, we're not gonna be able to stun you? Like, come on. No, nope, that's too far. Come on. Wow, okay, whatever. Wow, okay. Oh, avalanche, avalanche! Come on! Oh, I was just about to climb on top of that building too! Alright, it's alright, it is what it is. Let's go on top, on top of this building until all the snow has plummeted. Oh, okay, whatever. Come on. Should I let him take a stock for me? That's the risk I'm taking, if I'm gonna be honest. Again, because it's, especially it's Thunder Tross. Of course. I don't want. It. Oh! <gasps> it's right there! It's right there! Please! Please! Yo, if 
I do not get this. I'm gonna be so freaking mad. Come on! Come on! There we go! There we go! Go! All right, I think, yes, I do have to aim for this one. He's right there, so. Nah, it's taking him out. It's taking him out! There we go! There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Now that we got it out of the way, okay, let's go to the one, the only, Tiga-san! Oh my god, you guys don't understand how happy I was to see Ultraman Tiga in this. And, you know, to end off the gameplay, we're going to go up against Godzilla. Alright, so, did I, wait, did I choose Godzilla? Okay, yes, I did, just wanted to double check. Alright, so... We're actually... I think I know where I want to fight him. Actually, you know what? We do the Forsaken Temple. Oh, just, oh my god. Just looking at Ultraman Tiga, being able to fight Godzilla, especially the Heisei Godzilla, just brings joy to me. All right? Tiga-san. All right. Oh, and they're right there facing one another. They're already locked and loaded. All right. I'm sorry, Godzilla. You know, I don't ever like to do this to you, even if I am playing as one of my favorite Ultraman, but you know, you, you come be you come first before anything. I'm sorry, buddy. Please forgive me. That should be able to... Oh, oh it's too far out. It's too far out. And, oh! Wow! He blocked it using the freaking radioactive pulse. Okay, okay. Oh man, I'm already about to be big. I'm already about to end up the gameplay. I'm so sorry. I put it in the work the Godzilla. No! <laughs> you guys don't understand, like, my toes are clinched in the soles of my feet right now. That's how, like, ugh. I don't ever like to put myself in this uh, partic uh, particular predicament when it comes to Godzilla. So, let alone do I ever... I don't... I mean, I'm pretty sure we could all say we don't like to see Godzilla lose. Whether if he's the bad guy, um, whatever the case may be. Oh, okay, now I gotta run. Now I gotta run. Yeah, sure, I could just be like... Oh! Oh, I thought that was I thought that was gonna be able to connect. Alright. Oh, only have one I mean not one stock up. I have another stock to sacrifice. You know, I'll let you do it, guys. Oh no, 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 never mind, never mind. Oh man, I was gonna say I was gonna let him Oh, here we go! That's not gonna be able to Oh Woo! We're gonna end off things right. Is that gonna be enough to beat him? I believe so, yes it is. Oh, I'm so sorry, Godzilla. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Well, I leveled up. And that is it for the gameplay, you guys. I really do hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully this video convinces you, if you haven't yet, to purchase the Ultraman DLC. All right, oh my God, my boy Tiga once again. But nonetheless, you guys, like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, before you guys end this video, make sure to hit the description down below and hit the link to my boy John's page so you're able to obtain whatever it is you can from him, whether it's his art or his officially licensed Ultraman t-shirts. But with all that being said, you guys, I hope to see you guys very, very soon.